Hey, what's going on, guys? Mark vs. Games here, and today I'm going to be opening up four, four, fourteen <laughs> Sun and Moon base set booster packs. Did I say Dollar Tree? I don't know. I meant Dollar Tree booster packs, right? So I did weigh some. I got some good pulls out of some of them that I did open, as you can see here. Some of the main ones. Did get more reverses. Don't you dare walk into my room. I see you there. <laughs> okay, we're good. Here's my mom. Alright. So, I think we should start it. Start it. Start it. Start. It. start, it. start, it. start, it. start it. <clears throat> Let's open up our first booster pack. <laughs> you can say that. Start by opening up our first. Oh shoot, I need to do this. Here we have Granbull, Marini. Oh wow. Okay. Doubling up on Espeon GX. Um I guess it's not bad to have doubles. I was just not expecting to get a double. Um, these were all fresh from the box. They had four full boxes. Two Sun and Moon boxes, the big boxes, one full small Ancient Origins box, and one full small Roaring Skies box. And the way I could tell that the packs were completely fresh is because they were so shiny. As soon as I took them out of the box, you're not going to be able to see on camera, but like the Primarina pack is so shiny and blue. You can see it's it's like such a light blue. And like the real booster pack is like much darker than that. But anyway, that's not the point. Um... But that, that's how I knew that they weren't going to be already weighed by someone else. So, let's continue on here. Um, I think these were all from the same box. So I'm not sure how many pulls there um, aren't, aren't, they normally are per box. Um, okay. On the ground. So here we have oh, Ilma, Sandile, and a Skarmory Reverse. Sorry, that didn't focus. Oops, I should actually probably put this up here. And I did buy um, a lot of the Sun and Moon instead of like the Roaring Skies and the Ancient Origins because I, I'm still working on my Sun and Moon base master set. I'm so close. Um, I only need a few more ultra rares and a decent amount of reverses, but the reverses are super cheap and easy to get. So we have Pinsir, Eevee, and a Crocodile reverse, which is a rare. Nice. Let's continue. Oops, actually, hold on. Ellen was a trainer. I like to take out all the trainers just so I can make play sets of them. It's kind of weird. It's not... Even if it's not like the best trainer, even if it's the dumbest trainer ever, I like to make play sets out of them so I can trade, trade them away at pre-releases. Ugh, hold up. After I do this pack, I need to take a sip of my ginger on Thursday. Here we have a Pokeball. Oops, sorry, that unfocused. A Growlithe and a Polyrath Reverse, which is another rare. I think I might have needed that Polyrath for my Master Set. Oh, hold on, I gotta take a sip. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that was kind of rare. Let's continue. Oh, yeah. Whew. Oops. Probably shouldn't have opened it like that. That opened very awkwardly, though. Whew. Okay, we have fairy energy. Makuhita, and a Morlo Reverse. Energy goes over here. So I can put it back behind me. Ooh. Ah, there we go. This is dry. One-handed one pack opening. Here we go. These are actually pretty hard to open, actually. I'm not sure why. So I'm not actually going to do it one hand. Scratch that. Let's open it this way. I'm going to open it like this. Open it the weirdest way possible. 
Whoops, I'm so stupid. Another Elma. Get closer to that playset. Q Defy. And the rare is a Go Bat Reverse. Nice. Continue. Sadly, no more ultraviolet so far, but that's what I'm expecting now because we already pulled um, three so far. Um, this is the second time I've opened a pack and the energy was upside down. Huh. Okay, here we have water energy. Polywag. Come on. Seriously? Just focus. I mean, this makes me so mad. Polywag and a charger bug, which is not, I was going to say a rare. It's an uncommon. Rip. Let's continue. These packs are opening up so nicely. Come on, be an ultra rare. Please, just one more. Here's another ultra ball. Sand dial. And a polyrath hollow. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Where do I put the hollows? Over to my right. Another sip. Whew, that time. I didn't pause the video. Mm. It's because before I was really thirsty, so I need to take multiple sips. Ah, anyways, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's continue here. With the Incineroar pack. But, um, I want to know from you guys... If you could go back in time, right? Let's say go back to 1999 and you wanted to buy all the first edition booster boxes, base set booster boxes, right? Would you get rid of your house right now if you could do that? Like just sell your house and buy every single first edition base set booster box? Seriously? Two polyurethane halls in a row? I, I would sell my house and do that right now. Because if you buy a thousand first edition base set booster boxes, that's a lot. That's like millions of dollars. Because now they're fifty thousand dollars each. Which is a little absurd, but I don't know, that's how the market is right now. It's just really weird. The most recent one I think sold for fifty four thousand dollars, correct me if I'm wrong insane i mean i know at least a year ago i saw a listing that sold for twenty six hundred dollars i think the rare is upside down i don't want to f there we go i don't know it's just insane how stuff like that changes so quickly here of metapod growlith and a poison bar reverse which i will not put with the trainers actually but they're with the reverses Okay, yeah, that just ripped apart. So many packs are on the ground. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we have a Pissimian. And unfocused Pissimian. Polywag. And another Skarmory reverse. Second Skarmory. Third to last pack here. My assumption is no more ultra rares. Very sad, but probably not likely to get any more. Here we have Wishy Washy, Dratini, and Polyworld Reverse. Looks 
second to last pack here. Come on. Let's you know what? Let's cut it for luck. Let's cut it. I've never actually cut a boost pack, I don't think. I don't cut them. Not many people cut them unless they're like Japanese packs. And I still feel that there's no need to cut the top Japanese packs. Here we have a great ball. Stuffle, dang it, it's reverse. A Lolan person. Let's go. Last pack magic. Ugh. Come on. Can we do it? Let's open it in all different kinds of ways. Whoops. Best luck we can get. What do you want to do? What should we do? Let's rip this in half. I swear to God, if it's not ultra rare, I'm about to be really mad. Puke. 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 Yukamuku. Come on. Chin Chow and a Brigham. Dang it. Well. <laughs> of course, the first pack. I think it was the first pack. Was it ultra rare? Why can't it just be the last pack? Last pack magic. You know what I mean? All this trash on the ground. But yeah, guys, um, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button here. All the polls. Oh, yeah, I did get some orange guys back. Three of them. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Thank oh wow I'm whoops. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um I already said that. Bye. <laughs> I guess.